else I hear? Well, our house in Prineville has this shower and it's really cool. Um, and we wanted to have a bench built in there. Well, we thought we could make our own bench. So that's what we're doing. So husband made a wooden box and then he put concrete board all the way around it. And I didn't film that because I was sleeping in. So now I have it turned upside down. I'm gonna do the start on the bottom and I'm going to put tile on it. Yay! So we're using spare tiles that were left over from the house and I even have some spare tiles from the kitchen project I did at the new house, if we need those. So far I have this piece and these ends. Okay, the biggest challenge right now is trying to get this thing open. Ah, oh, I can't get it open. I'm trying to the screwdriver, but that's not working either. I suppose this is what I get for buying pre-mixed stuff. But it has a nice consistency. So I finally got it open and I started spreading it out on the bottom of the bench. And so the bench is upside down at this point and I started on the bottom because I wanted the side tiles to go on the outside of the bottom tiles to help keep water away. If you can understand what I mean there. So this bottom will never be seen. And I used those little tiny tiles because we had some left and I just figured they'd never get used anywhere. So I put them on there and it fit just, just right. I did end up using the kitchen tiles on the sides. And I was glad I had those because I ended up running out of tile for this project. So those kitchen tiles were perfect. So we rented the tile saw and we had it for two days and the first day I was working on it it was nice and sunny outside I had all of my equipment pulled outside and so there's a lot of room in the shop to work. Maybe you can see how the side tiles are sitting lower than the bottom tiles, or when it is flipped upright, how they will be extended down over the bottom tiles. Well, it's raining out there today, and so now the shop is really crapped because I have the sander and the scroll saw in here, but I can do it. Not only was it raining this day, but for some reason it got really cold. It ended up hailing on me at one point. So it wasn't fun to, to work out there on the project at all, but I had to get it done today because we had to take the tile saw back. So now it is flipped over and I only have this one side and the top to finish. I placed the side tiles on this end flush with the top so that I could have the top tiles covering the sides, unlike how I did the bottom. And then we got to one point where I ran out of all of the pre-bought mixed stuff and we had to buy our own thin set. So I mixed it up and used it and it's just a different color. And not that great consistency either. Here you can see how the top tiles extend over the side tiles. All just to keep the water off the joints as much as possible. Well, we got the shower box transported over here to Prineville so I can finish it, uh, but this tile fell off on the trip and it broke right there. So this will be the back of the bench, which is kind of a bummer because I like this side better than the other side. But anyways, 
I got some more thin set and I put that back on there. So it's wet, it doesn't fit real well, but I tried to scrape off as much cement as I could. And so now I'm just gonna clean it up and then I'm gonna start grouting. So I removed all of the little rubber spacers and then just took a chisel and cleaned off any excess stuff that was stuck anywhere. Then I mixed up the grout and started putting it everywhere. I love this part. I just love grouting for some reason. It's a little bit scary, but it's also really, really fun. Then after the grout sat for about 15 minutes, I started wiping off the excess. flip it over and put the grout on the rest of it. But then our weekend in Prineville was over and we had to head back to Newport. But this gave the grout plenty of time to cure before we could head back to Prineville again. It's been a few weeks now and it's all dry. Yay! And so now I can place the sealer. It doesn't say exactly how to place the sealer. It just says to wipe it on, or says to put it on, wipe it off, and then dry it off in one to three minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, Wally. Then it was ready to go into the shower. I thought it was funny how Wally was looking around and stirring his head while I was stirring the thin set. <laughs>